My name's Rebecca, I'm one of the vets here at the RSPCA. A few months ago, um, some French bulldogs that came from a breeder in by the inspectors. The first thing that struck me when I saw them is in an air-conditioned environment, how much they were struggling to breathe. They had lots of other issues as well, ranging from cherry eyes, luxating patellas, terrible skin disease, interdigital cysts, bad airways. One had glaucoma, some of the worst hemivertebrae that I've, I've seen. Philip Moses here, I'm a specialist surgeon from Veterinary Specialist Services. One of our focuses is upper airway surgery in brachycephalic dogs. The majority of brachycephalic dogs, that's pugs, English Bulldogs, French Bulldogs and Boston Terriers do need that surgery. Um, they have obstructive airway disease, their soft palates are too long and they struggle with their breathing. <laughs> uh, I'm Rhonda McGrath and this is Francois Danger McGrath. Because he's still a puppy, he's <laughs> on the move. I was asked if I would like to foster him and I was like, oh, I've got to think about it. And then I looked at my husband and we were like, oh, my God, let's just do it. Ultimately, they fit into an apartment lifestyle. They fit into the city lifestyle. But yeah, I didn't realize the, the sheer gravity of their issues. So going to see his CT scan and the results of that, that was a real eye opener. Down the bottom here, very a lot of crowding in that region. Um, which contributes to their issues with their airway. We, it should, they shouldn't be breeding with dogs with spines like that. You know, you go on a walk and he's like panting and he's hot. Sometimes he would vomit. A few times we had to, you know, carry him home because we thought it was like too much. The palate, you know, on a long-nosed dog is being squished back so the airways have a small amount of space, um, which makes breeding difficult. It was a welfare concern. Mm -hmm. The main thing we wanted to do was, you know, correct that airway to get that breathing normal again. We can look at that soft palate now. We can see that it should really finish at about that level there. So we're probably going to end up taking over a centimetre off this little one. So we've finished his um, surgery there. You can see that we've got really nice opening on both sides for him. Um, and that will help a lot with his breathing. This is little Francois. He had airway surgery yesterday with us. Surgery went very, very well. We had to open his little nostrils up, remove his tonsils which were very enlarged, open his pharynx up by resecting his soft palate which was tremendously long and very thick uh, and we also had to remove little swollen ventricles in his larynx. All of the foster parents have said that have had the surgeries done so far within the first 24-48 hours. It's a huge difference they've noticed before and after which is really nice to hear. Yeah he doesn't pant as much, he doesn't snore as loudly. Um, we went for a walk the other day and he also like where he would normally choke and sometimes he got to the stage where he would just drop to the ground and he wouldn't move um, and that's when you knew you had to pick him up so he hasn't dropped to the ground or anything like that so yeah he's been like considerably a lot better. After seeing the, his results and how much it's you know in, like improved his quality of life I think it would be cruel to have him and not have the surgery. Wait delighted to be able to help the RSPCA with um, these little ones. If you don't have these surgeries, these dogs look would probably collapse in the heat if they weren't looked after. Knowingly breeding dogs that have you know, genetic issues is so wrong. The main thing I think that we should be moving for is breeding dogs that have characteristics that are compatible with having a healthy life. So some people just think, you know, they're beautiful little friendly dogs and maybe do buy them not knowing that there's lots of issues these guys can have. Look, they're very loving dogs, but you just need to be really mindful that um, they're not an easy maintenance dog and you'll probably have ongoing medical issues in the future. But look, if you're willing to take that on, they're great family members.